many of the critical factors that we've mentioned aren't simply addressable through a vaccine. Liz mentioned child marriage. Now, child marriage has been illegal in India for a long time. Um, and yet it is pervasive. And we know that a very high proportion of rural girls, particularly low caste girls, but not only, uh, are married when they're 14, 15, 16. We also know that child marriage correlates very strongly with uh, maternal mortality and with um, infant mortality. But there is no vaccine against child marriage. Just passing a law doesn't change it. And so what I would say is that we certainly need to be gung-ho and optimistic about some of the scientific changes we've made, and they need to be developed and uh, spread more generally. But we also need to be aware of the complexity of changing social norms. So to really make inroads into the pervasiveness of child marriage, you need to, to change the way poor parents think about how they protect their daughters. That's very hard to do. You need to create different incentives. You need parents to think, well, the best insurance policy for my daughter is not to marry her at 14 so that I'm sure she has a husband and a family. The best insurance policy is that she goes to school and that she goes to secondary school and that she goes to university and that she gets a job. So that's a huge transition. And we really don't have any vaccine for delivering that. So I would just say that I think we have to operate at multiple levels here because if we could really tackle child marriage as effectively as we're tackling some of the illnesses, we would be really streets ahead of where we are.